Welcome everybody, my name is Michael Holovich, Chalowitz, however you want to say it, that's alright with me. Or we can just go back, revert to the classic, hey guys, it's Mike or Kubera. So, Bitcoin is almost at $33,000. As you see, we've never been here before, just within the past few hours. As we see, it's up $3,311 within the past 24 hours, but most of that really came from the past six to eight hours. There we go. So as we see, it was 29,827 just a few hours ago, and it was basically really stable around the early 29,000, low 29,000 area. And then it just started growing in the early morning hours here, and just the past six to eight hours as we saw, there was a slight correction there. Some people thought it would stay, but now it is just jumping all over the place. So let's discuss. First of all, is this important? As I made in my video for Kubera today, the price is important, but it's not as important as the market capitalization. Why? Because market cap, if you look, oh, we beat it. We beat it. It updated. We just beat for the first time ever, the total market capitalization of all cryptocurrencies you saw live here, folks, since 2017, 2018, this last period, January 2018, the total market capitalization of all the markets, let's try and capture it here. It was 828 million, uh, sorry, billion. <laughs> and then let's let's get it. Uh, I, can't, I can't get it, but it was 831 billion. So we just beat it at 834 and growing $835 billion. This means we're very close to the $1 trillion mark. And as soon as we get to $1 trillion, that is going to be a huge psychological barrier that has been broken for all of cryptocurrency. It is going to be written down in the history books, my friends. First of all, Happy New Year. It's January 2nd of a new year, 2021. Hopefully you are writing down just as I am here the price of Bitcoin every single day. I'm also writing down the subscribers, what I should do for today, a to-do list, make Kubera video, make a video for this channel, throw out the trash. That's great. So make sure you don't break your New Year's resolutions within the first few days or even the first few weeks of this beautiful year. Let's stay optimistic. Even if Bitcoin, even if cryptocurrencies go through a bear market within the next week, the next month, the next half year, year, two years, it has to happen eventually that there will be a correction. So I want you to think logically about this. This is coming from an individual who previously in the last really epic bull market run has made over $100,000 and then during the crash, I lost it all. So there was a series of decisions that led to that. And there was some great decisions that I made. There were some bad decisions that I made. And that's why this time around, I'm not actually invested. I am trying a different approach. I'm trying to secure my position in the industry for the future. So I'm excited about the price growing because I understand that this means the industry is growing. It's here to stay. Last year, 2020, despite all the havoc caused by the unfortunate black swan event last year, the stocks collapsing, crypto even was affected by that negatively during March, the lockdowns, everything that was going on in 2020. It's unfortunate there was a lot of people that were affected and some died. But in terms of cryptocurrency, a lot of great events happened. We went from $8,000 to 4000 below 4000 3800 during the Black Swan event, all the way up to the very tippy top, the last hours of December 31st, New Year's Eve. We were at 29,800. Then there was a little bit of a correction and January 2nd, we surpassed $30,000. And in some markets, we're already selling at over 33,000. Looks like while recording this video, even just a few minutes, we already surpassed 33,000. So it looks like it's everywhere on all markets now. That's absolutely insane. Maybe 34,000 is next, maybe $35,000. But every single thousand dollars that Bitcoin goes up, I want you to be careful. If you've made your money right now, if you made a lot of good profits, take some of it out. Maybe take all of it out. 
have an emergency fund. We're going to be making a lot of videos on this channel discussing about personal finance, how that ties in with cryptocurrency. It's mainly a cryptocurrency channel, but it's very, very important, especially if you're middle class or you're a teenager, young adult, you're still trying to figure out exactly what your place is in this world, how credit cards work, how bank accounts work, how savings work, how investing works. These are very complicated topics that not a lot of people really learn about during high school. If you did, you probably chose specific classes like I did to learn about this stuff, or you learned about it outside of high school, which is always great. But if you're my age or a few years younger than me, don't want you to repeat the same mistakes that I did, so it's always best to learn through video. If you've made some money right now, whether that's 30% profit, 120% profit, sometimes in crypto you have a 1,000% profit, the more profit you make, the higher the prices go, the more other people have made profits. And it's not just you, it's whales. 30% to a whale, while it may not be a lot to you, 30% might be an extra few hundred million dollars. As we saw, some of these whales are grayscale investments, BlackRock investments, the Guggenheim Museum, where they're investing over $1 billion sometimes. And out of their total assets for BlackRock, their investment that was close to $750 million dollars, it was around 2.3% of their total assets. So that wasn't a lot of money for them. It's just a small percentage. It's chump change. It's something to think about. There's going to be a lot of FOMO, fear of missing out right now in the markets that, oh, I, I got to buy as much as I can because it's going up to 40K, 50K, 100K. Don't care what some YouTubers are discussing right now. It is great that we've made it here. I would love for Bitcoin to continue to rise to 40,000. But to all the people who are saying it's going to get to 100,000, it's very unlikely this time around. It's cyclical. This means that during the next bear market, you're able to buy back in. If you sell right now, you're able to use some of your profits for something fun, get yourself something cool, reward yourself, hold on to most of your money, live simple, live a minimalistic lifestyle. Don't buy stupid crap that you do not need. Don't waste your money. Just save. If you don't have a job right now, get a job. Have an emergency fund set up. And then you're perfectly fine saving up a few thousand dollars for the next bear market where you're able to transform that into $10,000, $15,000 and you won't care as much. So you might be thinking, well, what if I get out right now? What else is there to do? There's a lot of cryptocurrency jobs. You could become a programmer. A lot of blockchain jobs usually pay 20 to 30% more. And especially during times like these, it's a little bit easier to find these jobs because there's more companies, there's more positions. These companies want to grow quickly. And that's what I meant during the very beginning of this video. As soon as we reach a total market capitalization of over $1 trillion, companies will start looking at cryptocurrency, first of all, and Bitcoin a lot differently. And especially as Bitcoin is approaching $1 trillion, it's still probably going to take a long time. But with Bitcoin having a current quarter in the market, a 72.1% dominance, and a market cap, we just hit over $600 billion, $609 billion market cap. If Bitcoin hits over $1 trillion, think of how many Fortune 500 companies that just beat. Think of how many Fortune 500 companies that are worth 200 billion, 300 billion that you can pair up and it's still not even close to what Bitcoin will be at. And right now, even so many companies under $250 billion, you could pair them up with another one and it's still not close to $609 billion. So as the market cap continues to grow, more larger companies will look at it differently. They're going to say, aha, it's becoming more stable. It's here to stay. The industry will grow. There's going to be more opportunity. So it's not like you can only make money through investing and especially high risk investing. You can make money through low risk investing. Think during the long term. If you're here to hodl, hodl, great. That's for you. If you're a millionaire, you do not care about that money. Only invest with what you can afford to lose right now. Keep track of the news. Learn as much as you can about Bitcoin. Learn as much as you can about cryptocurrency and that's it for today's video. So I thank you to all the new subscribers on here. We've almost hit 100 subscribers. We have over three watch hours. We need to get to 4,000 to get this channel monetized. I'm excited. So we're going to be doing some more promotions on Kubera. We just did a video on there, just posted a live stream on there. And <laughs> we're ending this video off. It took me a total of about 10 minutes to record. We're ending it off at 32,100. So there was a small correction of about $900 just within a few minutes. So it's going all over the place right now. It's a little bit getting a little bit volatile. Be careful, have positive thoughts, but be prepared. We will see you in the next video which will be uploaded tomorrow. Thank you for joining in 
And if you're new, you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please consider it. Share the video, comment down.